And now, America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicki C. and Cerullo. This week on the Archer's Choice, well, well oh. we went, I know we say yeah. it every week. Yep. Yeah. We went up moose hunting. It's our, Mo major it moose great, mania. I mean, it just. We got an invite to go up to McMillan River Adventures with Rod McGrath and Keith Marks. And it was up in the Yukon. And oh. Big bull moose up there. So we've got lots of mm. bulls going on around this show. Yeah, there, there's a lot of bull because I think this whole first show is, is just. Well, it's a lot of bull. I think it's you hunting. Well, yeah, whatever. We have so much footage and so many encounters with so many great big moose that we actually split it up in two shows. We have this show and next show. This show is my show, and then next week would be Ralph's bull show. You didn't have to say it that way. I mean, it was... I was just making a statement. There's bigger bulls next week, but there's a lot of bull this week. Go north, pilgrim. <laughs> those were the words spoken by so many directing those with a sense of adventure to venture to the untouched wilderness of the Yukon. There's gold in them there hills, they all said. Well, that was a long time ago. Much has changed around the world, but the Yukon gold is still there and more than ever. Yet the gold we're talking about is for today's sportsmen and women who are looking for the end of the rainbow, a true hunter's paradise that is still not destroyed by man's encroachment of the land. This week, Vicki and I teamed up with McMillan River Adventures for the ultimate in moose mania bow hunting the Yukon moose, bulls gone wild. Well, lo and behold, Rod said we got the call. Huh, buddy? It's it. It's time to... Look, Look at he thinks we're nuts. And rightfully so, huh? It's like Christmas out here. Yeah, it is. Our first day here with McMillan Rivers. It was raining. Now it's snowing. We can't see town, but we're going up in a plane. It's a good pilot. He's a little young. Just started last week, I think. I try to tell you this every time, and that is real simple, is when you start coming on more of these wilderness hunts, so, you have to understand that Mother Nature, she dictates what's going on. He's a, he, he's a cute little bull. You could tell even though by his body, he was a young bull. I mean, not so much the rack, too, but... That's not the kind of bull we, we don't want to take those out of No, no. Well, you guys, from what I understand, we're talking to Rod and stuff, you guys really almost have like a management program. You don't want to shoot the, the young ones, and even some of the younger ones, even though mm -hmm. they look pretty decent, exactly. you still want to kind of pass. It's almost like we do at Whitetails at home, you know, you look for the body structure and everything. You, know, you might have a good rack, you might have to grow a little bit older. 
because the age structure is heavy. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now for the next encounter, my guy Joel wouldn't let me take this bull. Check it out. Up there, they're trying to manage the herd. It's a young bull. Go figure. Thanks, Joel. You know, for a lot of people who haven't done any moose hunting, is one of the things is these animals, when they get into the rutting stage, there's really not a, a bunch they're afraid of. So when they see anything or hear anything that sounds like another bull threatening their area, threatening their cows, they go into a trance. So when you see the guys holding that paddle and they're just turning it up and down, trying to get it to, it to glisten off the sun, you know, that bull sees that through the brush and he sees that and he thinks, oh, it's another bull with the paddle and he's coming in. And then you start doing the grunting. And then you put, the, you've got, you know, like Russ and, and Joel and Les, they'll all wear the black shirt because the moose can't see really good. But when they see this paddle moving and they see this dark object coming through the brush, it's like, oh, they're coming after each other. So you've got to remember that this is some cool stuff happening. an awesome day but that was a good bowl but no how we can do better Joel says we can do better I think we can do we better. got 20 minutes left today okay but you also said we have to be off the river before dark well you saw oh. one quite a bit larger than that just oh, oh, this is day one or whatever yeah day one and if I've counted right we have now seen 11 moose yes we saw a cow and a calf and a spike on the way out the little guy you called in the big guy the the small one on the way back, a different cow and calf, and three. That's 11 in the first day. It's, Boy, it's wish you guys had some moose around here yeah. or something, you know? Jeez. Sure. Oh. Now let's check in with Rod McGrath of McMillan River Adventures as he has an up close and very personal encounter with another McMillan monster. Check out how long he's at full draw on this bull.
great shot, Rod. What a great shot. You have to be totally pumped. That's a big moose, man. Oh my god. That's a monster. Holy oh cow. This is just so incredible, man. I mean, I blew the call for maybe two calls. That's it. I mean, two calls. Like, and all of a sudden I heard a crack, and I'm like, he's right here. That was the most incredible. Man, that was <laughs> I mean, that was just amazing. I apologize. That was just incredible. Well, here we are. My moose didn't exactly drop in the most opportune spot. But it was a fantastic hunt, man. I mean, uh, 21 minutes and the moose is dead in the water. And I'm uh, standing on top of it. <laughs> this is just too much fun, man. I mean, bull hunting is the greatest sport in the world. This was just an all time, this is a dream come true for me. It's just a fantastic hunt. And uh, we definitely have our work cut out for us and we're about to be very wet. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Well, did I tell you this week was gonna be full of a lot of bull? We weren't lying. It's Vicky's turn, and watch this moose mania go one step further as she gets her first Yukon bull. Yesterday we counted, we ended up seeing 13 moose, which is just insane. Now, last night it snowed just a little bit. It's light enough now. The guides are getting ready, and so are we. So we'll see if maybe one of those, that big bull maybe that we saw yesterday, they're thinking he was 65 inches wide. Um, we'll go see what we can find. We'll find out. It was all, but it was, there was lots of blood coming out, and then he was still coming in, and I thought, you know what, and then I thought, I'm just take another shot. My second shot was definitely the cooler. I wanted my first shot, but I think I had my 20 on him. He might have been a hair further than 20. I think that 
Yeah, I think that's why I put that on. But I think I probably hit heart, I think, actually, on my first shot. <laughs> so it's a good bowl? It's a solid bowl. It's a solid bowl. That's the biggest most I've ever shot! <laughs> I got a new <laughs> Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Was that awesome? Oh, was that wild? And you know what was really cool is I got two shots for the price of one. You did. Unbelievable. I did. Now, you that know, first shot was right there. You know, I mean, it was just... It was, it, it was right there, but you know what? It was the main boiler maker well, there. Well, well, Russ moved his paddle. That bull came to 15 yards, and, and I took a second shot. There's no reason not to. He no. was there. I did it. Especially a big animal like that. You better believe it. You I better just wish that second shot, he would have ran towards the river instead yeah, of Yeah, I know. Away. So did Joel and Russ. Fun stop when she released those arrows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. oh. okay. That's the second one. Yeah, I, I didn't think it passed through, but that's a heck for 57 pounds, huh? Yeah, beaming baby. Yeah, beaming baby. Oh boy. Wow. <laughs> we should probably take that one, you think? Oh. oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, another hug. Thank <laughs> you guys. Oh, whoa. The first shot, I think, would have. Yeah. Oh my god. I think. Thank you. Here. How's that? Thank <laughs> you. That's a. Uh, oh my gosh. It's the second day here at McMillan River Adventures, and I just shot my first Yukon moose. I took two shots on him. First one would have taken care of him. It was a heart shot. He gave me the opportunity to take a second shot. Double lunged him on that one. I can't even, you guys need to come here. Come here, Joel. Come here, Russ. These guys are unbelievable. We've been here two days. We have a front coming in. We're on our way back to camp. We have to hurry up because we can't go on the river after dark, and these two guys are nuts. <laughs> But I have my first Yukon bull moose, and I don't even know what to say. <laughs> you guys, thank you. Thank you very much for everything. Thank you, guys. That is just eight more days, and, and we'll have to see what happens. You know, Ralph's turn to hunt now. So. <laughs> you gosh darn right, it's my turn. <laughs> okay, I hunted the first two days of this hunt, and he's going to give me a rask now because... Yeah, because, well, at least I shot it on the second day. Now, he actually has eight more days to hunt for, for his bull, so I'm sure it's going to be bigger than mine just because Ugh. he has eight days Ugh. now to play, and that's the only... Well, we hope you enjoyed... Doing the moose thing. Ugh. That didn't look like the moose thing in the back of my yeah, head. No, no, it was I was trying to get the reflection. Ugh. Yeah, I saw you in the camera. Ugh. Nice try. If I want to get you. Nice get try. You. Hey, remember, at the beginning of the show, we said that it was a two-part series. So next week you get to come back and see Ralph. Yeah, because this week encounters. was full of a lot of bull, and next week is just the big bulls. Whatever. Oh my gosh, we want to thank everyone up at McMillan River Adventures, and Rod and Keith and Les and Russ and Joel, even though they pull us off of bulls that we can't imagine that they oh, would. But you've got but to understand where we are and what 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 Rod and and Keith are trying to do, and and that's actually manage. It's it's hard for us to fathom, especially moose. white tailed deer. Right. But they're actually trying to manage their herd and, and the younger I mean, bulls they get want to get that age structure and i got to tell you it's it was unbelievable it's so an remember. incredible adventure but remember next week even more mcmillan yeah. river adventures big moose mania okay bulls going so wild. remember oh, come oh, back next oh. week same time same station right here on, on the, the archer's, archer's choice, choice.